Hello! Reboots. They seem to be the rage right now. ABC has brought back To Tell the Truth and Celebrity Family Feud, Pyramid, Match Game, Roseanne, and the less we talk about the last one, the better. NBC plans on bringing back Deal or No Deal. Um, Hawaii Five O has been very popular. Just reboots out the butt have been coming out. And recently, Nickelodeon has come in on this by bringing back Double Dare. For the rec for a little bit of history, Double Dare was on from 1986 to, I want to say, 1994. And then it came back for one season in 2000 as Double Dare 2000. And again, the less we talk about that, the better. No, I'm kidding. It was good. Uh, and then just recently, actually last week, Double Dare got a 2018 revival on television with Liza Koshy, who is most famous for Vine and YouTube, as your host, and Mark Summers, the original Double Dare host, as the announcer slash color commentator slash somebody to bounce things off of Liza with. There's not much to say. I mean, if you watched the original Double Dare, you're old like me. Also, they didn't change a damn thing as far as the rules go. There's no Triple Dare challenge like in Double Dare 2000. The only thing they really changed is the dollar amounts of things. Back in the day, it was like 10, 20, 40, and then 20, 40, 80. Now we're talking 50 bucks, 100 bucks, 200 bucks. Everything doubles in the next round. I've seen two games so far, spoiler alert, two games so far where the winning team has gotten over a grand. And mind you, there's been six episodes aired so far of 40. The rules are the same. Some of the physical challenges are a little weird, but they're, they're meant to make a mess. So, And the obstacle course is pretty much cut and dry what you'd expect. They brought back the one-ton human hamster wheel. They brought back the tank. They brought back down the hatch. They brought back the ringer. They brought back uh, Picket, which has become an icon, I guess you could say. Um, Liza's a good host. She she does the show really well. Um, you know, she gets super excited for everybody. I think it's probably because she's like maybe seven years older than most of the kids that are on the show. Because she's only 22. Holy crap. What have I been doing with my life? And uh, Mark Summers still, still in the A game. Like, I mean, he... It, it, words can't explain it. Just watch, watch how Mark Summers is on the show and you'll see it. He gets into it just like he did back in the 80s. He is a fantastic announcer. And he just works off. And like I said before, he and Liza just like work together really well. It's like, it's, it's amazing. It's like watching uh, Peter Tamarkin and Rod Roddy or Drew Carey and George Gray. It's fantastic to watch. Or even a better example, Wayne Brady and Jonathan Mangum, because they both did improv, do improv together. There's, there, like I said, I, I can't say enough good things about it. Just watch it, and I think you'll enjoy it. If you were a fan of the original Double Dare, you'll definitely enjoy it. If you've never seen it before, at least watch one or two episodes. Unless you're not a big fan of messes, then don't. It's definitely a lot better than Keep It Spotless. We're not going to go there. So, yeah. I like it. I hope you do as well if you get a chance to watch it. And I'll see you next time. Take care. Peace.